Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm gonna to talk about One Finance. Now, One Finance is an app-based checking account and savings account, which partners with Coastal Community Bank, and that's who provides the FDI insurance for this account. But one of the main things that stood out, which made me wanna review this account, is that they currently offer a 3% interest rate on their savings account. Now this is about 10 times higher than even the top five savings accounts that I reviewed in 2020. And it is currently in my top five for 2021. And so if you haven't seen my video for 2021 of my top five savings accounts, make sure you check that out to see where One Finance stands. Now One Finance is currently offering a $50 bonus if you set up at least a $250 direct deposit before the end of January. And so if you'd like to try it out after watching this review, make sure you use my referral link in the description below as well as in the top comment. So let's talk about the basic features of this account and the stipulations involved in order to get that 3% interest rate. If you want to use their checking account, you will get a MasterCard debit card as soon as you set up a direct deposit or you deposit any money into your account. And on your first purchase using their checking account, you'll earn a $5 bonus. And so if you need access to an ATM, they have partnered with Allpoint, which has over 55,000 ATMs across the United States. And they also have an early paycheck option where you can essentially get your pay usually about two to three days before your actual payday. Now this will vary based on your employer, so it may not be the case for everyone that signs up for One Finance. So next I'll talk about their savings account, which to me is the most attractive part of the One Finance account. And with their basic savings account, you can earn a 1% interest rate on balances up to $5,000. And if you were to add direct deposit to your One Finance spend account, then you could earn that 1% on up to a $25,000 balance. Now, if you would like to increase that savings rate up to 3% for any money that you direct deposit into your One Finance account, you can save up to 10% using their auto save program and that 10% of your direct deposit would then be eligible for a 3% interest rate. And so if you're a person that's already saving 10% of your income, this is a great way for you to automate your savings while also boosting the amount of interest that you're earning on your savings. And so it'd be really easy to set up direct deposit with this account, turn on the auto save feature, and then turn the percentage which you can choose anything between 1% up to 10% of the money direct deposited to be automatically auto saved into one of the pockets. And I'll go into more detail about what they call pockets later. Now the limit on how much you can actually save using that auto save feature is $1,000 per month. And so that means since you can only go up to 10% using that auto save feature, that means you would have to have at least a $10,000 income direct deposited into this account in order for you to maximize that $1,000 per month. So for most people, that won't be a problem. You're probably not making over $10,000 a month. That means you would make over $120,000 per year. But for those who do make more than that, if you were to use this account, only up to $1,000 per month would be eligible for that 3% interest rate that will be auto-saved in your account. Now, another way that you can increase your auto savings is by using your debit card. And so for every transaction that you make using the debit card, if you were to turn on the roundup feature, then any transaction that you would make will be rounded up to the nearest dollar. And then that change would move over into your savings pocket. And then that change would also get that 3% interest rate. Now this money would go into what is called your save pocket, the actual checking account where your debit card would actually spend the money. That is called the spend account. But you can also create additional pockets and you can name them whatever you want. And so there's no limit to the amount of pockets that you can create and so if you're familiar with a cash envelope system this is kind of a digital version of a cash envelope system if you follow Dave Ramsey and you're using the baby steps he recommends using a cash envelope system so this would be a great way instead of having a physical envelope you could actually have a digital envelope with the pockets within the one finance account and so if each pocket you can create it you can name it whatever you want you can have a pocket for your rent or your mortgage. You can have a pocket for your car payments. You can have a pocket for food, groceries, whatever you want to, you can name it whatever you choose, and you can create as many pockets as you need to. So this is a great way for you to work on your budget. For people that are very meticulous with their budget, this is a great app for you to use as well. 
Now with this pocket option, you can actually create a shared pocket. And with a shared pocket, you can create a pocket that you share with another person who is a One Finance user. It can be a family member, it can be a friend, or it can be a child if you would like to create an allowance. And so what you can do is create a pocket specifically for allowance, or you can create it under someone's name, and then you share that pocket with the person. And then now both you and the person that you share it with, they're allowed to add money or to spend money within that pocket. Pocket. So this would be a great way to split large purchases or to provide an allowance for your children or to create multiple savings accounts, especially if you're trying to save for specific purposes like car maintenance or maybe saving for a vacation or maybe saving to purchase a car. You can create all of these different pockets for whatever specific reason that you need to. So if you happen to have roommates and you all have a One Finance account, this would also be a great way for you guys to create a pocket for paying your rent or paying the mortgage if you're buying a house together. Now for each pocket that you create, it is technically creating a separate bank account. And so it has its own account number. And so you can actually set up direct deposit to be directly deposited into one of these pockets if you so choose. But if you don't do that, you can just put all of the money direct deposited into the spend account. And then once it's there, you can then transfer it over to one of the pockets that you create or into the save pocket, which is one of the default pockets. Pockets. This would also be a great way to set up a virtual account. So if you've ever used privacy.com or if you have a Capital One credit card, then you know that you can create virtual credit card numbers. And essentially this is kind of the same thing, except instead of having multiple debit card numbers, then you would only have one debit card number and then you can link your debit card to a specific pocket whenever you want to use it. And so if you're going grocery shopping, you can open up the app, you can choose the specific pocket that you want your debit card to be connected to. And then let's say you have a grocery pocket, you go grocery shopping, you choose that specific pocket, and then the money comes out of that specific pocket instead of your default spend account. Now, if you create a lot of pockets, this could potentially get out of hand, but if you want to be very meticulous, very specific about your spending and about how you save your money, and if you're following a program like I mentioned, like a Dave Ramsey Baby Steps, this will be a great way to do it digitally instead of having actual physical cash and physical envelopes. And another option that they have is that you can actually have a credit line with One Finance. Now with this credit line, you can use it as overdraft or you can actually use it as a line of credit and link your debit card, just like you would link it to one of the other pockets. You can link it to this credit line and then you can use that to make a purchase. Now any money that is used on this credit line, if it goes into the next month, then there is an interest charge for any money that goes into the next month. Now you don't have a 20 or 30 day period like you typically would with a credit card. It does end at the end of the month. So even if you buy something on the 31st of January, for instance, you would need to pay that off before February 1st in order to not be charged interest on the balance in the credit line. But even at 1% per month, that is essentially a 12% credit card, which is lower than the average credit card interest that you could get if you were to sign up for a credit card today. And also, if you do direct deposit money into your One Finance account, then they'll give you a higher credit line based on your direct deposit. And if you're already taking advantage of the 3% interest rate by using that auto save feature, then you already have direct deposit anyway. And so this would be an additional option if you wanted to use One Finance as a credit line as well. And so if you're not already a user of One Finance and you'd like to set up direct deposit of at least $250, then you will receive a $50 bonus when you use my referral link. And that will be provided in the description below as well as the top comment. Now in researching this app, I did see that there was an offer given to many of the Simple app users. If you're not familiar with Simple, it is another app-based checking and savings account, which has some similar features to One Finance. But since they are actually closing their doors and they haven't announced a specific date when they're doing so, One Finance has made a special offer to Simple app users. And I'll have a link to that in the description as well. Now, One Finance is not directly affiliated with the Simple app, but when I looked up One Finance, I kept seeing mentions of the Simple app in their FAQs and on Reddit. And so I thought I'd mention that in this video as well. So all around, this is a good one-stop shop for a banking app. You have a checking account, you have a savings account where you can earn up to 3% interest, and you also have the option for a credit line. And if you're a cash envelope system user, you can create multiple pockets to create categories for all of your spending and your savings. 
So if you're a One Finance user, let us know about your experience in the comments below. If you have any comments or any thoughts about what you've learned today about One Finance, let us know that in the comments as well. All right, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell to so be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.